he's not just a wild killing machine in this and just takes out hundreds of people or like Rambo 4 the God of War at the end of the last movie he just took out a whole army I mean this this skilled mercenaries come to get him and he's smarter about it and, and just doesn't blatantly go out hand to hand combat really I mean it's a little of that but it's using the tools that he's learned in the Vietnam era and and trapping people into scenarios where he can he can safely kill him without getting hurt himself but he does get caught up in the end too and in the middle of the movie i mean he gets beat up pretty bad and shows that you know the old rambo would have never gotten hurt that way <laughs> Is, you know, I, I realize Rambo is not for everyone. It's, it's very, very intense. It's like, you know, 150 proof whiskey. You know, it's, it's not for everyone. You know, <coughs> that's a little strong. Yeah, it's meant to be. It's not for, for children. It's, it's meant to really tell a, a deep, dark, brooding tale that I feel is almost somewhat like Shakespearean intensity, not of course in the quality of the writing, but in the, the passion and the depth at which the soul is exposed. So I, I think this, this has all the potential to be the best one for me. Cut, everybody, cut, cut, cut. Come on, Ruby. Ruby, get the shot. No, here. Get over here. You can't do it. Well, you tell the first part. Right Okay. <laughs> this is what your daddy has for lunch. <laughs> it's in love. Like the last with the last rock, it gets to a point where when you've told the entire odyssey of a man's arc, in which you, you, you've lived with this guy, you saw him as a young man, and now you see him as an old man. But by the end of this film, he's sacrificed everything. Is it an open ending? Yes, there's an open ending. I just couldn't see another film being this emotional. It, it, it could go on, no question, with a different kind of content. He could go to jail and, you know, fight everyone in prison and do that, which I won't. If you've ever done prison movies, it's a war. You gotta stay in the same outfit for seven months. It's not worth it. Okay. And so I, I think we hit all the buttons and there's some really beautiful shots in this. There's a kind of bittersweet poetry about it. But the action is, is supreme and intelligent because it feeds back into everything that has been building since Vietnam. I think it's, it's, it's when, when Sylvester told me that it, this is gonna be called The Last Blood, I was like, whoa, <laughs> are you sure? And he told me, yeah, I think so, yeah. For me, when I read the script, uh, I thought that is, that is very emotional in, in all sense, um, especially the last scene. For me, the first time when I read, I cry. I cry because I say, oh my God, this character, it, no, it, it can't die. I don't want him die. Maybe uh, uh, we are not gonna see any other movie about Rambo, but I don't want this guy because he's a hero. 
but but it's very it's, it's very emotional and, and sad. This is a character he's brought to life and nurtured for 40 years. So you, you're not going to change it. We sort of discuss what the scene was, um, and and he basically brought it to life. And the beauty is that he always, as an actor, he he always gave you options as a director. Uh, he he w within the Rambo philosophy, he took it two or three different ways so that you could later explore them in the editing process and say, oh, the, the, you know, we'll go with this ramble for this scene or this is the way the character is moving. And, and um, so, you know, that was great, great to have. You know, over the years, people have taken the journey with Rambo. You know, you'll have an older audience. Hopefully that will have seen the first one to a younger audience who will maybe watch the previous movies. But it's, it's, it's like a journey that, that takes you through different stages and different times in Rambo's life. Each movie he's hit some kind of political hot point, be it Afghanistan, be it a prisoner of war. So it, it, Rambo always has its foot in some kind of political issue or, or a relevant you know, topical issue. And this one's no different. So hopefully um, we'll give the Rambo fans what they want to see. We'll give maybe some of the younger fans what they haven't seen. It's a bit more of a human drama story, this one. You know, it's not pure out and out action. There's a, you know, there's a storyline, you know, there's a performance. It's much more wordy and a lot more dialogue in this, but still has a, a lot of action in it, but it's kind of, it's a slow build to it, which I, I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping the, you know, the, the finale of this movie kind of, you know, pays off the, you know, the dramatic aspect of the first two acts. There is such a core audience for these Rambo films. It's such an I, iconic character and, and, and it, it goes back years. And, and during that time, there has always been a demand for John Rambo. There's something about Rambo that, that kind of sits in the American psyche and, and, and Americans can relate to. And something very patriotic about that character. Something about an underdog who has gone through trials and tribulations and has always managed to survive. And I think that character is a character that a lot of people can identify with and, uh, and feel for. It's, it's not, you know, some kind of comic book character where you don't understand their psyche. Rambo is, is a man with flaws, a man with sort of a checkered past, with, with issues having to do with what he's gone through his life all kind of you know wrapped up in 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 a human being and and i think the audience identifies with that he's not a cookie cutter character he's he's somebody who is always kind of changing and evolving throughout the franchise so for me i, I we all knew that that there would be a demand to see him at least one final time and in, in a different stage in his life i think they've lived with this young man for so long and now he's an older man so I, I would find it impossible not to see how his life finally turns out where he's going to spend the rest of his days and there's it's a fantastic moment at the end of the film that has multiple meanings and you can decide for yourself but it is something that you could go on or at that moment you'd be, it's more than satisfactory that you kind of understand where this, this poor tragic character's life was bound to end up. I think the humanity in this movie and the way this character has evolved in its humanity I think is very important. You can, you can see how far his life has gone uh, and how f far his past has taken him to this point. So I think uh, it's a, it, there's a journey that, that, that you can read hopefully in this film that, you know, um, even if, and if you watch the others, it's better to, to sort of understand where this character uh, has ended up um, in this part loyalty, uh, 
humanity and family. I mean, I, I, I think this is the first time Rambo deals with, um, with family as an issue. Uh, and we've never seen the family theme in his lifetime before. Um, and to, to actually see him in this kind of family, I think it's maybe unexpected, but it's very rewarding. Well, I'm sure it's not the most original quote, but you only, only do what you know. Don't, I, I, I recommend don't try to go into someone else's backyard and compete with the fellow who, that's his genre. He, he grew up on comic books. This one here grew up on that. Just write about what you know and write about the human condition. Heart, energy, and humor. Heart, energy, and humor. If you can have those three components going, I think you'll have a very successful career.